Did you know that over 900,000 Indiana residents have debt from education with the average borrower owing about $32,000? Bill Wozniak, the vice president of communications and student services from InvestEd is here to share more. Hi, Bill. Hello, how are you? Doing well, thank you. Well, this is the perfect time to discuss this. As we all know, student loans are back active and students have to pay their first payment on October 1st. So can you start off by telling us how crucial it is for students to pay attention and to learn the status of their student loans right now? Absolutely. With student loan repayment starting October 1st, interest, starting on September 1st, servicers have changed, repayment options have changed, so many things have changed in these last three and a half years while student loans didn't have to be repaid, Mm. that there's a lot of confusion out there and a lot of times borrowers are not connected with their servicers and they're not getting the information they need and sometimes they don't understand their options as well. So very, very important right now. Okay, and what exactly is a student loan checkup? So with all these types of federal student loan repayment options, including the brand new SAVE repayment option, Mm -hmm. with all of those options, with the different interest rates that are out there, and then private student loans, where sometimes people are paying well over 10% as an interest rate, we look at all the loans, federal, private, whatever somebody has, and then we help them with the options available so they can lower their interest rate, they can Mm -hmm. lower their monthly payment, or they can lower the amount owed, Mm -hmm. all these different types of things. Look at all the different options, find out what's best for them so that they're in the best place possible going forward. Okay, and this is a service through InvestEd? Yes, nonprofit in Indiana, over 40 years, completely free. Oh, wow. That is so amazing. Okay, that's so good to learn about your business. Can you give us a little background of how long you've been open and all the services that you provide? Absolutely. So we were uh, created back in 1980, 1981. And one of the big things that we do is we do over 900 events each year across the state uh, with high schools and other organizations where we talk about planning for post-secondary education, all the different types of financial aid, all those different things so that people are in the best place possible when they get their degree or their certificate and they have the least debt possible. Mm -hmm. Uh, And then this stuff that we're talking about today is on the other side after they graduate, after they have the loans to repay. So we try to do before, during, and after. Okay, that's so wonderful. And there's so much to keep up with if someone has a student loan. What have you found to be one of the biggest misconceptions when it comes to borrowers having to pay back their student loans or them wondering if they actually have to? It goes both directions. We talk to families every day where the family thinks, I don't have to repay. Mm -hmm. I don't have to repay. It's not something that I have to do. And in many cases, they do. And it goes the other way as well. Sometimes people are like, oh, I have to pay this high rate or I have to pay this big amount every month, otherwise I'm in trouble. And oftentimes that's not the case. There's better options. So some people that really need to take it more seriously are not. And some people that think they have no other options really do and they think they don't. Okay, and that statistic is so large. Over 900,000 Indiana residents have student loan debt. And so what what do you think is the best way Hoosiers can actually start the process of repayment and get right back on track with making sure that these student loans are settled? And that's why we talk about the student loan checkup because with different servicers, different repayment options, all of this changed since the beginning of the pandemic. Mm -hmm. Our experts are able to help Hoosiers completely free organize their student loans, organize their options, examine all the up to the minute repayment options that they have, and those are changing almost monthly, (laughs) and to really look at that and make sure they're in the perfect place so they don't miss payments, they don't overpay, and they don't get in a bad place. They just have to spend a little time now on the front end here as things really kick back in. Yes, and Bill, a burning question right now is all about student loan forgiveness and if someone would be eligible for it. So what are the qualifiers and will borrowers be eligible for student loan forgiveness? 
So the student loan forgiveness that we get the most phone calls about is what's been talked about for the last year. Mm -hmm. And this was sort of the broad student loan forgiveness. Mm -hmm. And that was shot down by the Supreme Court. Mm -hmm. That is not happening. Mm -hmm. So these repayment plans that we talk about are just not only about $200 versus $100 or something like that. Sometimes your actual payment can be zero. Mm -hmm. And so payment of zero can count as a payment and that, that sounds odd to a lot of people including right. the people that we talk to mm -hmm. but if you're in a certain plan depending on how you're doing with your job and economically sometimes your payment is zero yeah. so that's not the forgiveness we've talked about the last year mm -hmm. but it it's a different type of forgiveness so the broad-based forgiveness is not happening but these repayment plans are very interesting to look into and figure out what's right for yourself okay and if someone is interested in the student loan forgiveness plans in the future is it just a matter of qualifying naturally through your um, income or through the records that the government has on file, or is it necessary to take the steps to actually submit your loan through the government um, websites? The rules are changing, and yeah. that's again why we talk about reaching out to one of our experts. Yes. The rules keep changing, and this new save plan uh, used to be called the repay plan, mm. and that had its own rules. And even before that, there were other income driven repayment plans, mm -hmm. and so again, monthly, a couple times a year, these plans keep changing and the rules keep changing. Mm. And so that's why when somebody calls us, we can give them the up to the minute information mm -hmm. on what the rules are for the best plan for them on that given day. But even within the last two weeks, new things have been announced and they're changing. All right, that's wonderful. Thank you so much, Bill. We, we appreciate your knowledge today. Thank you so much. Okay. Thank you, Bill. And if you would like more information about InvestEd, we'll have their website listed below. This is a free program provided to all Indiana residents. So it's so important to give them a call to find out the status of your student loan and to do a student loan checkup. We'll be right back.